So when do you need to get rebaptized? Well, the answer is never, because we have one Lord, one faith, one baptism. We don't need to get rebaptized or to rededicate ourselves because it's not our work. I, when we look at the catechism and how we talk about it, notice what we don't hear and what we do hear. The third part talking about baptism, how can water do such great things? Well, certainly not just the water, but the word of God in and with the water does these things, along with faith, which trusts his word, this word of God in the water. For without God's word, the water is plain water and no baptism. But with the word of God, it is a baptism. That is a life-giving water rich in grace and a washing of the new birth in the Holy Spirit, as Paul says in Titus chapter 3. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs having the hope of eternal life. This is a trustworthy saying. Now, I say this because I can't tell you how many people I've met, how many Lutherans I have talked to who have grown up in the Lutheran church, and then they've either gotten to high school age or, I mean, maybe junior high, but it's usually high school age or especially college age, and suddenly they meet someone who is super zealous for their faith. They are super excited about Christ. They can't wait to tell people about Jesus, and so then I'll have the, the Lutheran student come to me and say, do I need to get rebaptized? Did it not work the first time? Because I don't have that same oh, emotive, exciting feeling inside. Now, it's great when we feel great joy and excitement about Jesus, but there are many times we simply live life and we praise God, we thank God, we gather together with Christians. But there's nothing in here about once you feel like a Christian, then you're good. All I see in here is about God's word of promise and Christ's washing and water, of course, washing us. And so we want to remember that baptism is God's work. It's not us dedicating ourselves to the Lord, though every day we do wake up and we remember our baptism. We go to bed remembering our baptism. We gather together to worship and to receive God's gifts remembering our baptism, because that is where we died to our sins and we are raised again to new life, to walk in a new life. Now, Perhaps you've never thought about it that way. Perhaps you have not had a great zeal or excitement for your faith, and it's just that thing that's a part of your life, whatever. And maybe you've met someone who has kind of awakened that to go, wait a minute, I should be living like a Christian. Why am I not? But we do that out of the joy of what God has done for us. And we do that knowing that we are already saved. We are already washed in Jesus. And so as you go through the day, Remember that Christ has washed you and made you his own. He didn't get it wrong the first time. You didn't not feel it or mean it enough because it was his work. And so go in peace, return to your baptism. Remember what he has done for you, washing you and giving you new life. God be praised. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.